Hi guys, this is Haunty School on Nostalgiatronics UK and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing um, a really cool singing fish, in fact probably my favourite singing fish in my collection and that is Trevor Rainbow Trout and I've got his box right here, I'll give you a look at that as well um, but yeah, as you may already know this is the UK's version of Rocky Rainbow Trout um, but this is uh, but he's called Trevor and um, he has, does have some subtle differences such as um, a bit more pink on the fins and also around here um, but it's really cool and let's give you a look at his box real quick I really like this box and it says Trevor Rainbow Trout singing sensation it's quite similar to how they did Billy Bass pretty much motion activated it says please release me let me go which is one of his songs and uh, it says battery and uh, basically bat battery installation instructions ages eight and up and uh, it says right here that the animated trevor entertainer sings please release me and wild thing which i really love the wild thing recording on this guy and it says when pressing the try me button or passing by in front of the motion sensor trevor comes to comes alive and yeah, this definitely looks like a um, retro style box from how it looks. But yeah, it basically says all the same stuff on that side. It says re realistic, lively singing and moving sensation. And uh, it says right here, the animated Trevor Entertainer will surprise and amaze everyone when he sings a song. He will flip, flip, flap his tail and turn his head, singing and moving in synchronisation with the music and words. Really cool. This side's a bit sun bleached, um, but the rest of it's in really good condition to be honest. If you want to read any of that, um, put, um, pause the video. Um, but yeah, it's really cool, this box, I love this. And there's the uh, um, barcode as well. But yeah, that's Trevor's box. Might as well give you a look at the fish. In fact, I'm not sure if I even still have it in here, but I do have the plastic uh, plastic coating that originally went over him like that, which is pretty awesome, if you're asking me. Um, but yeah, I got this guy last year. Um, I was looking for him for quite a while. And... Uh, yeah, he's great. He's probably probably in perfect condition now. Uh, when I received him, um, he actually had no split gears, even the head turn. But I'll get onto that in a minute. The main repair, what was done to this guy, um, um, on, on quite a lot of knockoff fish, they uh, use um, not as good plastic as a regular billy bass, and it actually completely shattered, and uh, it really. Um, didn't hold him up anymore so luckily I did have a spare billy bass and I've uh, switched out his uh, head turn mechanism with one of them and also put a new gear on the shaft and um, these ones actually do take a attentive gear on the motor shaft um, but with it being a billy bass mechanism it just takes a regular nine tooth uh, but I think the gears are a bit different or something as uh, his nameplate um, I believe this guy came out in 2000 or something like that, probably around the same year Billy Bass was made. And uh, he was he's made by a company called Upright Manufacturers, which I'm pretty sure, um, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, made Big Mouth Rainbow Trout as well. Um, but yeah, he's got some nice detail of the eyes. Uh, mouth is very nice as well. And... Yeah, I really love the look of this fish. It's one of those ones that you kind of have to have in your collection. I believe the um, I believe this is the most uh, what's it um, common one to sing these songs. Because um, I think they did. I think it's Sid Simon that sings these songs as well. It's kind of got a strange thing at the back and um, that flips out. So um, it's not like a regular one would be. There's speaker holes. It takes four C batteries and has a switch where you can switch them from try me to sensor. And uh, one thing um, I kind of don't like about this guy though is how they place the adapter jack at the back because 
Um, it is fine when you have him stood up on a table like this, but if you have him on a wall, you, um, you really can't do it. Because um, I use this, have this on my wall all the time, so yeah, it's a bit weird, but yeah. So uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about Trevor here. So without any further ado, I'll show you both of his songs. That's all of Trevor's songs, and I think um, one of the things that makes me like this fish so much is how they make the mouth quiver, and also at the end of Wild Thing when he uh, kind of lifts his head and um, shivers his tail as well. Um, it's it's a really a good, pro really unique programming choice in my opinion, and I love this fish so much. Um, so to end this video off, I might as well show you Wild Thing one more time. So here we go. So that's it guys, uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you all in the next video.